When a patient is receiving therapy with a high flow nasal cannula, as a respiratory therapist, sometimes you will be required to make adjustments to the settings according to their ABG results. In this video, we're going to break down a sample TMC practice question on this very topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A 64-year-old male patient who is recovering from post-abdominal surgery has been on a high-flow nasal cannula at 20 liters per minute for three days. The patient's ABG results are as follows. pH of 7.39, PaCO2 of 43, PaO2 of 157, SAO2 of 99%, bicarb of 24, and a base excess of plus two. Which of the following is the best action to take at this time? A, decrease the flow. B, decrease the FIL2. C, decrease the flow and FIL2 together. Or D, switch to a standard nasal cannula. Do you know the answer? Let's break it down. The first thing you need to do is interpret the patient's ABG results. We can see that the acid-base status is normal because the pH, CO2, bicarb, and base excess are all within the normal ranges. However, the PaO2, on the other hand, is increased. So this tells us that we need to decrease this value, and we can do so by decreasing the FIL2 setting. In general, for a high-flow nasal cannula, you need a flow of at least 20 to 30 liters per minute in order for it to function properly and deliver the set FIL2 to adult patients. So if you were to decrease the flow below 20 liters per minute, it's not going to provide the set FIL2 adequately. And in general, you should usually avoid adjusting two parameters at the same time. So by using our ABG interpretation skills, as well as what we know about high flow nasal cannulas, we could determine that the correct answer has to be B, decrease the FIL2. Well, what'd you think? Was it helpful going through this practice question? I hope so. And as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the promotion that's going on by using the special link. I'll drop it right below this video down in the description. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. I will drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.